Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, we're going to be going over Universal's first official look at Jurassic World Dominion. The teaser trailer that's set up to advertise for the Cretaceous era prologue scene in front of Fast and Furious 9 has just been revealed, and it is looking to be really, really looking good. So I'm not going to pretend like a lot of you haven't already seen this thing in a really blurry and bootleg style format already, but for those of you who haven't seen what this prologue has to offer yet, this trailer is probably giving you your first look at a lot of these really cool dinosaurs and their designs. Now, first and foremost, the animals like Ankylosaurus, Moros Intrepidus, Iguanodon, and my personal favorite, Quetzalcoatlus, are looking incredibly well done, and the CGI that Colin Trevorrow and Industrial Light and Magic are using to showcase this prehistoric sequence in Dominion are among some of the best stuff Jurassic Park has really ever done in my opinion, but I don't know if that's just because of the visual effects that they're employing or rather than the fact that it has something to do with the more natural and animalistic nature of what all's going on here. Nevertheless, whatever it is, to see this footage in high definition and not all blurry on a pre-recorded video screen is incredibly impressive to me. And I think possibly the coolest little bit of info that we can gather from this is that the prehistoric T-Rex will matter-of-factly be quite fuzzy with its Cretaceous-era feathers, and the fight it gets into with the Giganotosaurus is something of the highlight of this little tease. It's what ends the teaser, after all. Now, in my opinion, this is something that should really be taken care of well by Universal, and I don't know how exactly they plan on releasing this thing down the line in full, but the idea to just dump it online after Fast 9 is out of theaters might be a good idea to some, and I'm actually not sure how I feel about that just yet, but whatever they decide to do, I do hope that people can see this thing easily if they so choose. But only if it's not included in the opening of Jurassic World Dominion's final cut release. And I say this because if we have like the first five minutes of this movie online and readily available for a full year before the final film's release, we'd technically be paying money to see around five minutes of footage that we've already seen and had access to and have watched for over and over over again like a full year in 2022 when it comes out to watch with Dominion. Of course, we'd have the rest of the movie as well, but still, it's kind of an odd way to start a Jurassic film in my opinion. If anything, it reminds me of the way the Rocky sequels start with a little fight recap from the last movie where the story left off. It's like, yeah, you want to watch Rocky 4? Watch him fight Mr. T for the first five minutes. We'll have already seen all this stuff by 2022. But in regards to this little teaser as a whole, there is a lot of fun stuff here. I can't stress how much I'm really into the Quetzalcoatlus design and just the way they move, interact, and behave with a backdrop of Pteranodons flocking away in the distance. It all looks incredibly well realized and really, really good. Now, of course, none of this is exactly 100% paleontologically accurate, and I'll be talking about that more when the full HD release is given to us with Fast 9, but for right now, I think the image of these giant animals just roaming about the landscape is among some of my favorite imagery in the entire Jurassic Park film series. It really does look like it comes from National Geographic rather than a Jurassic World film at all. Apart from that, we also get our first look at the Giga, and this thing is looking monstrous. I don't even know if you could accurately say that it looks like a dinosaur that we've seen before in the series because there's just something so prehistorically weird and like ancient about its design. We, of course, this is just a little snippet. And I know a lot of you have already seen it from the bootleg stuff that's online, but this official HD version is our best little look at it so far, and yeah, it, it looks monstrous. It looks like, well, you can really see how some of its DNA made up the Indominus Rex in Jurassic World. Now, the only way you guys are going to be able to see this thing for the foreseeable future is if you go get a ticket to watch Fast and Furious 9 and IMAX specifically. Those are the only screenings of the film that I believe will have this short prologue available. Of course, you could watch the very low quality leaked version online that cuts off like a third of the screen. In fact, I didn't even know there were four Quetzals right here from the version I've watched, but hey, you do you. Whether or not they actually put it up on YouTube or something like that, like the way they did with Colin Trevorrow's Battle at Big Rock short film, I don't know, but if they do, 
it won't be until Fast 9 is out of theaters for a while, in my opinion. So yeah, those are all just my own thoughts on this footage and what you can expect to see if you so choose to watch this prologue with Fast and Furious 9 in IMAX. I want to stress to you guys that I think you need to find an IMAX screening of this thing if you want to see it, because I called my local theaters that don't do IMAX, and they had no idea what the hell I was even talking about when I mentioned a Jurassic World scene at the beginning of Fast and Furious 9. I could be wrong, but better safe than sorry, and just a heads up for all you guys out there. Now, whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be on this footage, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my parkers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in seeing me again. See you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.